So our uh, data is at the single source level. So that means it's at the individual household level. And uh, we are able to match at the household level through privacy compliant, uh, independent third party match partners such as Experian, Axiom, LiveRamp, and uh, some others we're working on uh, currently to connect our TV viewership data with data from virtually any other source that's also at the single source individual level. And that could include uh, geolocation visitation data from partners like Ninth Decimal. It can include uh, data that's focused on uh, credit card or debit card purchasing, like Cardlytics. And it can include um, data from other sources, uh, virtually any digital data set, whether it's at the cookie form, device ID form, or housed in a DMP uh, for advertisers to use for their own marketing activities. We can connect to that and allow that data, those audiences, to be uh, looked at through the lens of linear television. How does such an audience, as the ones I described, uh, consume television? What is the best way to reach such an audience as through linear television uh, alone, or as it's uh, likely uh, going to become more the norm, in combination with other platforms? So really looking at audience-based, anchored on linear television, but in a cross-platform fashion. So maybe you can explain that a little bit, how you guys work with Viacom. I know that's a very high profile uh, association for you. Maybe kind of explain a little bit how your data powers their planning. Absolutely, so Viacom uh, is uh, very uh, aggressive and very active in uh, transforming the way they go to market. They're really focused on data analytics, data science, and really understanding how their audience uh, and all the characteristics of their audience can be best utilized for the benefit of their uh, marketer clients. And our data set sits at the very heart of that exercise by allowing Viacom to take marketer audiences, third party audiences, and some of their own proprietary audience data and translate that into the linear television lexicon. So looking at the entire portfolio of Viacom properties, they can tell uh, how uh, frequent visitors to Burger King or McDonald's or another QSR restaurant, how that audience is to be reached in the most optimal fashion across the entire array of media vehicles that Viacom has. And in addition to planning, we also help Viacom understand how effective the campaigns that they delivered for advertisers were in reaching the audience that they sought to reach and what the impact was on the consumer behavior. Did people go to store more? Did people purchase the product more frequently? And that goes right back into the planning cycle so they can optimize the campaign for the next cycle. So could you explain a little bit about the performance side, uh, how you guys get that information? It's pretty clear how you get it from the box, but how do you get it from the other side of things? Well, we uh, like to kind of focus on what we have and uh, at the same time, look for best-in-class partners who can complement what we have to fill out the rest of the story. So uh, we hyper-focus on our television data, on the quality of the data, on the stability and the uh, ability to work with that data in terms of matching it to other partners and translating audiences, whether they be third party, first party, or otherwise into linear television. So we are hyper-focused on the TV part, and we always look for partners to bring the other audience characteristics into the fold. And together, uh, we really do think that one plus one in this case does make three when you're able to take two very separate data sets and in combination articulate an incredibly rich narrative both for sellers of media to utilize as they further their uh, charge into audience-based selling and delivering uh, media packages for advertisers that are more robust than just demographics and for advertisers so they can really have a clearer view into how their media dollars are invested and what the return on their media investment is in terms of the KPIs that as marketers they're evaluated against and as businessmen uh, they're looking to drive results against. We think of our unique value proposition in a couple of ways. Um, you mentioned that there is a rich treasure trove of television data out there that's housed within the uh, operator wall gardens, if you will. I think the unique advantage that we bring is that we're independent, third party. Uh, we are not out there selling media like the operators do. And we have our own data asset in the form of the TiVo set-top box data. I think uh, it's important to note that our data sample is not just TiVo. It is complemented from 
uh, data from set-top boxes from um, six or seven other cable operators for representation purposes. But the TiVo uh, sample is important because it is a national sample. It is not concentrated in any one specific geographic area, but really spans the entire country. And that allows us to project a very representative uh, view of how television is consumed. Uh, the other component, as I mentioned, we are an independent third party, and so any exercise that we perform on behalf of marketers or sellers of media is truly independent. We don't have a horse in the game, so to speak. We do not uh, skew our results to favor our own media channel sales or to provide a competitive advantage to uh, sellers of our media. And so we really truly project a much more neutral and credible view of how television is consumed. Uh, it is representative and is independent. We're very, very excited about the uh, project we're doing with NBCU around the Olympics. As I mentioned, um, we have a very representative sample from a geographical and demographical standpoint. And we are uh, partnered with a company called Reality Mind to capture the consumption uh, at the device level. We're pairing that with our consumption at the linear uh, level, how viewers are watching programming from NBCU across all the uh, channels that it's going to be broadcast on, in combination how NBCU is delivering that content on tablets, on mobile devices, and even laptops. And that complete view is the ultimate focus for this exercise, so that NBCU can truly understand how the content that they're sending out is consumed across platforms, on a level playing field, and these insights are going to be utilized both uh, on a tactical level to inform what uh, segments should be cut for highlight reels uh, during the primetime uh, recap or uh, retransmitted in digital avenues to um, highlight the most exciting uh, sporting moments across the NBCU portfolio. And at the same time, these are insights that NBCU is going to be utilizing as they plan for their next set of Olympics uh, so they can deliver the content across platform in the most robust and comprehensive fashion. So what is the consumer feedback? What is that? What is, what is, what is being recorded or reported? Well, we're capturing uh, second by second data at the household level for the linear television stream. So as consumers are switching between uh, the myriad of channels that the Olympics are going to be simultaneously broadcast on, we're able to really understand how that path uh, exists which moments keep them uh, tuned in to a particular channel, what gets them to leave a channel. And that goes both for the uh, Olympic content as well as the uh, rich uh, advertiser-based content that NBCU is uh, presenting uh, to the viewer or uh, taking part in creating with the advertisers. So we're giving them a really clear view how that interaction is happening. And we're complementing that with uh, how the same interaction is taking place at the device level or the laptop level where they're really investing a lot of um, effort in terms of simultaneous broadcast across all platforms.